Let's talk about 2D procedural textures and 3D procedural textures in Maya. So all of Maya's 2D textures, except for the file node over here and the movie node over here, are procedural textures. And all of Maya's 3D textures are procedural textures as well. So what is a procedural texture? So procedural textures are pretty much 2D or 3D mathematical functions, which are also known as procedures. And they really don't have any limitations in resolution or size. So let's apply a 2D texture and a 3D texture to each teapot. So I'm going to go under surface and let's go to a blend. And although you can make node connections over here, my middle mouse button sometimes doesn't work when I'm recording video. So I'm just going to double click on this, another way to do it. Click on the checker box over here. And let's go under 2D texture. And let's apply a checker on this one. And let's select the object over here. And right click again. You can middle mouse button and drag and drop to. But I'm going to select this. And right click on this, assign material to selection. And let's also render it over here. So that's a 2D texture. I can double click on the checker. And it gives me the checker attributes. So I can click on this and assign some color and go to the color 2 and change its color as well. I can clear the graph by clicking on this button. Let's go back to surfaces and let's go to the Fong this time. And the Fong attributes show up over here and I can always rename it from here. Let's click on the little checker box and let's assign a 3D texture this time and let's assign a marble. And let's click on the teapot, right click, assign material to selection. And also, I will not trust what I see over here most of the times. I'll always render. And you can see it looks different over here than in the viewport. And also, make sure that you either hit 6 on your keyboard or click on this button over here, textured, to show the textures in the viewport. Also, I can click on the marble right now and change the filler color. I can go back to the marble, change the vein color however I want to. And if I re-render this. The cool thing is if I don't like the filler color, I can apply something else to it. I can apply either again a 2D procedural to it or another 3D procedural.